Hi guys, so I'm finally here to do my update or review on this hair. Um, this is not going to be my final review because I probably will still wear this for a while. I'm not sure, but as of right now, it's the hair that I've been currently wearing and I really love this hair. Um, this is from New Star. It's from AliExpress. It's from New Star Hair Company or Hair Team. I think it's Hair Team, one or the other. And I'll put a link to the actual lot that I purchased and the closure that I purchased after I bought the hair. Because when I originally bought the hair, I did not buy the closure. I bought the closure after I bought the hair. Um, I have in a 14, 16, 18 body wave, Brazilian body wave. And this is not its original color. It came in, I would say more or less a number two. I dyed the hair twice. The first time I dyed it, it didn't. I didn't leave it on long enough or it didn't take whatever the case it was. And so I dyed it again and I found this video on how to dye um, hair and it came out really good. So I would definitely always dye hair if I'm dying a solid color, um, that particular Ivy way. Powell video, or she used to call herself Poison Ivy, but now she calls, I guess that's her name. So she changed her name, but that's, and I'll put a link to that video because that's how I dyed the hair the second time. And I, will, I absolutely love how it came out. I dyed the hair with Revlon Color Silk, and I believe it's um, and, soft black. Um, I bought, I think I bought four boxes because the first time I dyed it, then I dyed it again because I had dyed the closure, so I had to dye the hair again in order for it to match because it wasn't matching because I had the hair before and I had washed it, you know, and when you wash it, the color kind of comes out and, you know, after a certain amount of washes. So I had to dye the hair twice. I made it, first time with the hair, I made it into a U-part wig because I did have leave out. Um, the only thing I don't like about leave out is pressing. because the of the hair or flat iron the hair on a regular basis and I don't like to put a lot of heat on my hair so it kind of bothered me um, I, at first I was doing it like once a week twice a week and then I noticed that it got to the point where I had to do it more than once a week and I don't like that and then I knew I was gonna start working out again which I have and uh, with my hair sweating and working out it would my hair would be reverting and I don't want, want to put that kind of dent or do that kind of damage to my hair so I knew I had to get a closure so I had the hair without the closure probably about three weeks and then I bought the closure I bought a 10 inch Brazilian wave closure and it was a free part enclosure they also have a middle part but I didn't want a middle part because I don't like middle parts usually The closure is a little bit wavier than it's the hair. It's not really totally that noticeable. Maybe if I notice it, but I don't think, I think it's still blendable. So then after I bought the closure, what I did was I put the closure on separately with, um, a, well, I didn't use the elastic band because I didn't have it. I used like, even like the headband with the elastic and I used those for a while. But what I didn't like about that was I didn't like I had to put on one piece one way and then put the other piece on. I wanted it to be all one wig. So this time I made it all into one wig and it's one wig in itself on my head now. So all I do is put on one wig. I, I, and it, it just makes my life so much easier. So this time when I made it, the wig, I use a dome cap. The first time I made it, I used the um, weaving cap or with the adjustable straps in the back. And the only thing about with that is when you're sewing, you kind of have to go through the holes. But with the dome cap, it, since it's a, you know, a flat material, you can sew however you choose or wherever you want to put, you know, 
so I really enjoyed that much better so um, I will continue to use dome caps for right as of right now I will continue to use dome caps so I sewed on the closure and I hot glued the hair the reason I hot glued the hair is I didn't really have a lot of time to sew the hair now I really wanted to but I didn't have a lot of time I need this wig to be made in under an hour and I knew with me sewing it, I, it was gonna take me longer than that. And I just didn't um, have And I haven't had any major excessive shedding due to the fact that I cut the wefts. When I first made the wig, I did not cut the, I cut only the ones up the top, but all the ones in the back, I sewed and I double, um, I flipped them over. So, but the last time I made it, which was this time, I had to cut them and I I haven't I haven't had any major shedding. The only time this hair really sheds is when I wash it, which I get probably like four or five strands. And probably if there's some major tangling, which it only really I, I noticed that it only tangles when I need to wash it. Like right now, I just washed it. Um and I haven't had any tangles. Like, like major tangles, like where you feel like you gotta rake it out. So I talked about the shedding, I talked about the tangle. Um, as far as the products that I use on the hair, it's very few. I use the Pantene Fusion products on this hair. This one is the Smoothing Shampoo. And I have the, it's the Smoothing Smooth Vitality and this is the, the new packaging they have, and this is the old packaging, just in case you wanted to know, but they're the same line. And then I also have the Nature's Fusion Moisture Balance ones. So I use the smooth ones when the hair is a little bit on the, the moisture side. balance one on a more of a regular basis. I, I think I only shampoo this hair probably once. Usually I just use this. So... Um, this is kind of, I'm kind of using this up more than I'm using this. Um, I just feel like I don't put that much product in the hair to the point where I feel like I have to use a shampoo to kind of strip the product out the hair. But this is the Organics Hydrating Macadamia Oil. I had this in my hair stash and I just never used it so I figured if it was hydrating and it's a dry styling oil, I figured I would buy be honest with you, I might use it like once a week, but other than that, I don't really put this on like every day. So the only product that really, that's the only really, I guess, any styling product that I really use on the hair. Um, I am going to try, I have some curling products and we'll see if I can make the hair a little bit more wavier. Um, but I didn't want to do that, I didn't, I didn't want to do that while it was cold. So once it the weather decides to stay one weather, you know, because lately it's kind of been flip-flopping here in VA. I am going to get some of that silicone mix because I'm going to ombre this hair. i kind of been afraid to ombre the hair because the hair is so pretty. I don't want to mess it up. It's going. I know the hair is going to get a little bit drier and that's what I don't want to happen. So I don't, I'm kind of scared to dye this hair because it's so pretty and, and I just don't want to mess Would it I up. Would I recommend this hair? Absolutely. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you're going to get an affordable hair. Now, I mean, it's only, if you want to, if you don't want a closure, the closure took me a little bit over. I think I paid like 180 something with the closure. But if you don't want a closure, it'll be about 130, 131, 132. So, um, you, you know, so I think the hair is rather affordable. I got a closure because I don't want to deal with my leave out every day. It blends really well with African American relaxed, text lax, or natural hair, which would be natural hair would be, be straightened. And I guess text lax would be straightened as well. So a lot of people think it's my hair. So it really blends and well with your hair. I definitely am going to purchase some hair from them again. Uh, I really want some curly hair, so um, that's probably going to be something for the summer or the late spring. I only, spring. I haven't straightened the hair. I wore it mostly in this natural straight, 
and I flexi rod in it a couple of times. Um, I did curl a piece of the hair just to see if the curls last and I must say the piece that I had curled. Alright, so that's my review. Days. Hope it's not too long, but I'm putting like three videos probably in one video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.